Let's create an image, let's capture that image, and let's then deploy that image out. First things first, go into the one time boot menu, select your data stick that you want to boot from, storage device, the boot, install Windows how you want it to be. So I'm going to install all the apps that I want in this image. Uh, in this case I'm going to do Office 2013 and Chrome and Adobe Reader. Uh, Adobe Reader is installed and so is Chrome. Office 2013 installing now as well. Alright, so once you've designed the image as you'd like it to be on all the computers, <laughs> once you're happy with your image, you then need to go to your deployment share on your MDT server or Windows Deployment Services server, and in there you have a folder called Scripts. I've had it. I've had it. Deployment. Deployment share. <laughs> go to your deployment share. You've got a Scripts folder in there. You go ahead and go down to the bottom. So we're looking for in here light touch uh, VBS script. We need to run that. This will allow us to uh, capture the image. Called it Windows 8 hyphen backdraft. <laughs> Click next and you need to enter your domain credentials. All right guys, as you can see there it's finished and you can begin. You can see the settings you've applied. Click begin there. Your machine will now sysprep itself, shut down and then capture the image. So as you can see the machine's now sysprepping. It reads the file in there as well. The machine is now restarting, as you can see. Oh, yes. Giga. Net. <laughs> Backdraft image. Oh, yeah. That's looking more positive. Okay, so you can see it says capturing WIM now, so it will actually package it up, capture it, and then upload it to the server after this. As you can see, it gives you progress there of the capture process. Okay, there we go so far. So now we need to go onto the server and create a test sequence for that image that we've just uploaded and captured, and then we can redeploy it again and test it. So we're going to come over to our MDT server now and find our operating systems, and we're going to import it into here. So we're going to go import operating system, custom image file. Then we're going to select where it's uploaded to, so it goes into the deployment share captures folder, and there it is there, 5.1 gig. Open that, next. In fact, we'll just click the little box that says move it rather than copying it. And there we go, no set of files needed, next. Windows 8 backdraft, get the humor, get with it or get out, next, and then finish. Okay, we can now deploy that and uh, use that in on any of the computers. So there it is there, backdraft. Right, we're going to create a task sequence now to deploy that out. So we're going to go new task sequence. I'm going to call it uh, 302 and call it Windows 8. Dell Windows 8. Dell Windows 8. Next, standard client task sequence. I'm going to select the image I want to use, which is in Dell. And that's the image. Next, go ahead and select the key to use. And then I'm just going to click next on that and then finish. We'll come along here, we'll pixie boot this machine, select that from the image list. Ok, we're going to pixie boot the machine now, select to boot, select the light touch instance we want to use, and there we go. 
as normal now we'll give it a computer name and go through the setup process so there is Dell Windows 8 click next give it a computer name no no and we're gonna then not capture this image just carry on and install it as normal next and begin now it's a waiting game we're going to download that image from the server so this image here is going to be downloaded from the server to this machine now first things first it will copy the drivers across to the machine and it will start to copy the actual WIM file itself okay so the system will now set up for the first time as if it's a new computer it's uh, being imaged as you can see getting ready like normal but this should include our software that we want there we go we'll change the resolution when it reboots hi there we're setting things up for you well hey let's start then go for it just do this yeah we know desktop well hey so the operating system deployed with no issues whatsoever let's click finish on there let's just change the resolution as well so let's go to resolution and we're just going to change that up to the highest it will go. So, the normal resolution, native resolution of this monitor. Okay. Just going to reboot the thing quickly. Coming back in. And we should see the software as well that we've installed in the image before. So, desktop. Uh, as you can see, we've got Chrome there. We've got Adobe Reader as well. If we go to the start menu and then to all programs, we should see we have the office product for 2013. We do indeed. Word 2013. There we have it. Google Chrome, Adobe Reader. The wallpaper just applied itself. Google Chrome. Internet's working. Adobe Reader. There we go. One deployed Windows 8 computer. So thanks for watching then guys. That was image creation, image capture, deployment, and then showing the end result. See you next time guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Jake Billing. Please like, subscribe, and share to these videos, and I'll catch you later. See ya.